Welcome to the Summit. I'm Joey McWilliams. Thanks for stopping by today. My guest is Coach Greg Nesbitt, the head coach of the Truman Bulldogs football team. And Coach, your team is headed to the postseason for the first time in, in quite a while. A big victory last weekend, 24-14, puts your team at 9-2 and two on the year. And you are headed to the America's Crossroads Bowl to take on Ohio Dominican. Coach, talk about what this means to be in the postseason now and playing in this D2 bowl game. Well, Joey, it's, uh, you know, as you and I were talking off the air, air. I've done this a long time, my 40th year. I'm an alum here, played here 76 through 80. And, uh, well, I was excited on Sunday to potentially uh, get this opportunity as we were glued to uh, the NCAA selection committee and particularly Lindenwood, uh, who, who made the playoffs to allow, allow us to slide into this opportunity. I uh, didn't know how I'd react. And I, I talked to the team yesterday. And for an older gentleman, more mature guy, I guess, <laughs> uh, I was uh, much more emotional than I anticipated. I was thrilled for a lot of reasons, and uh, probably primary because it's a, obviously a very special, unique football team and an opportunity to continue to practice and work together for another six, seven practices and, and just keep this thing going for a little bit. Well, Coach, that, that is something I want to talk about. Let's go to that really quickly then. For the seniors, it's, an, it's one more game. It's one more opportunity to do something and, and let this, this season continue on. For a coaching staff, though, I mean, you get some extra time that some other teams won't get because you get to you know, keep on practicing now, and you might have an opportunity to uh, see some maybe some fresh faces that may not have, have really – been a part of the the season through the the first 11 games now you get a chance maybe to give them an opportunity you're exactly right and and uh you know as as we're one practice in we practiced yesterday as you and i are taping this and yesterday's practice and this week's practices will continue to be uh spring ball uh preseason fall camp and a couple things one this football team really enjoys practicing and preparing that that was evident and two, you're, you couldn't be more correct. Uh, it was so refreshing. We get so caught up into the competition as coaches and the stress of getting a team prepared just to back off and coach the great sport of football and get back to the basics and fundamental was a heck of a lot of fun. And you saw great growth even yesterday through one practice with uh, uh, not just your veterans, but very specifically your younger football players. Coach, it's the first time in the postseason now for the Truman program in 25 years after three trips to the Division II playoffs in, in a five-year stretch from 1990 to 1994, but it's been a long time then since this season has been playing past the regular, or this team has been playing past the regular season. What does that mean then for the program as a whole? Well, it's, uh, you know, we've got the eighth most wins, Joey, in NCAA Division II football, and as we spoke, I'm an alum. I was actually coaching here uh, that, that during that stretch with Coach Eric Holm, who's now on our staff. Eric was the head coach of all of those playoff teams in 90, 92, and 94. Uh, I was a part of the 90 and 92 as a coordinator uh, for him. So tying the uh, rich storied tradition, if you will, uh, the past to the future. Uh, and we've been quietly competitive the last four years, I think 28 and 16. So uh, 2016, we got a share of our league. We're eight and three, got knocked out of the playoffs in the last game of the year. Uh, so it's really, uh, this has been a work in progress and a labor of love, and, and uh, we're thrilled not just for our current team that I spoke about and our opportunity to get better, but we're, we're a thrilled for a really deep alumni base and a proud alumni base. This group has really re-energized that group. Speaking now with Coach Greg Nesbitt from Truman, Coach, you talk about that season back in 2016. I mean, you really, in your 10 seasons now uh, with the Bulldogs as the head football coach, it's a program that not only seems to be going in the right direction, but has taken those steps to get to where you are right now. Six winning seasons over the last eight years, nine and two this year. And this is the first time to get that nine win mark mm -hmm. in, since 1992. So I, I know that that has to be a big deal as well. You had to travel out of conference on the last week of the season to do it. Uh, what's it like then to to have those nine wins and and then playing the final week of the season not as a conference game uh it was different it really was uh urbana university in Ur urbana ohio uh and they were actually playing they were ranked ninth in their region so it was for us we called it a playoff game uh, we were out of the playoffs we knew that but they were still uh with hope and particularly beating at that time we're nationally ranked and beating a national ranked d2 team from urbana's perspective uh, gave us an opportunity to play a good football team, another league on the road, uh, a place that we'd never been. 
so we really enjoyed it. And, and uh, with our non-league games, we're used to travel. We've been to Houghton, Michigan, up in the UP, uh, a 13-hour tr- bus ride. We've been to <laughs> Wichita Falls, Texas, and and uh, Midwestern uh, State down there. We've been to Grand Valley. We've been to Saginaw. We've been to Wayne State. So uh, traveling a little bit is, is, unfortunately, we're a little accustomed to that. Well, Coach, you are going to be playing one more game. And you get there again on the strength of a 24-14 win last week. Jordan Salima, senior running back, just really took off. Uh, quite literally. Uh, you know, you could say he took off. He did. 32 carries, 216 yards. And with those 200-plus yards, was able to cross the 1,000-yard mark for a season for the second time in his career. Talk about his play. Well, he's been uh, number one at all positions, particularly the running back. One of the things is, you know, ability is not, not enough to be a successful college football player. It's accountability and availability uh, to go with a skill set. And he's been durable. He's played 44 consecutive football games. Uh, he's in our top four or five all-time in career rushing yardage at a university that's had some great, great running backs. Uh, Jared Anderson, uh, Harlan Hill in 96, with uh, I think he had 6,100 yards in his career. So he's in tall company, I, and uh, I think he's second in career carries. He might be third or fourth in, in yards. He's up there in touchdowns. He's also in the top ten in receiving yardage. So he's been a very talented a consistent, durable player for us, and I'm excited to be able to have him for one more football game, absolutely. All right, Coach, last question then, and, and that one more football game will be in the America's Crossroad Bowls, uh, Crossroad Bowl against Ohio Dominican, a team that comes in 7-2, and 6-1 and one in the Great Midwest Athletic Conference. What do you know about this team so far? Well, as we speak, not a lot. I, I streamed their game and, and watched their last game against a really good Hillsdale team. And uh, I thought uh, uh, there were a lot of similarities. Uh, they, they don't beat themselves. They were very good, very well coached in all three phases. They had good players. Um, it looked like we were certainly going to have our work cut out for us to, you know, the first thing we need to do this is let's try and make it a game, and uh, we'll do that. And, but it's a, a very well coached, balanced football team that doesn't beat themselves, and particularly the turnover takeaway ratio that's a, a big stat in terms of winning. Uh, week in, week out, they're a plus 16, which I'm certain is top five nationally, and I haven't looked, but uh, that jumps out and grabs you immediately. So uh, we're excited to play them. Looks like a, a really well-coached team that uh, we'll enjoy competing against. Uh, looks like a disciplined football team that uh, should be a great matchup. All right, the America's Crossroad Bowl, the inaugural America's Crossroad Bowl, mm-hmm. will be on December 7th. That's in Brickyard Stadium at Hobart, Indiana. Uh, Coach Greg Nesbitt, thank you so much for taking time with us today here on the Summit, and success to you throughout the remainder of this season and beyond. You bet. Thank you, Joey. All right, thanks for watching the Summit today. This is Joey McWilliams. Don't forget that our flagship show, Midwest Sports Saturday, will take place again this Saturday, and this week we'll be coming to you from Hot Springs, Arkansas, at the site of the GAC Volleyball Tournament Championship. In the meantime, God bless you, and have a great day.